Hello, my quarantine friends. <laughs> Dave McDonald back here with you for another exciting edition of Quarantunes, drawing cartoons with Dave McDonald. <laughs> that never gets old, does it? <laughs> well, maybe maybe for you it does, but for me it's fun. <laughs> I enjoy it. Thank you, sound effects department. All right, today, let's see. First off, we're gonna show my colored cardinal. Remember our cardinal we drew yesterday? Whoa, look at this. Cardinal, this is the red cardinal. Of course, it's the male cardinal. The female, I guess, is brownish with red, but this is the male cardinal. This walking is for the birds. <laughs> and what is he carrying under his wing? Do you remember? That's right, the cardinal rule. <laughs> Oh, we have too much fun here on Quarantunes, don't we? Does so much walking, he's wearing his shoes, right? Wearing his sneakers. All right, today I thought we would continue with a bird theme, but this was the North Carolina bird. We're going to actually go outside of the United States. We're going to another country to draw a bird that is from there and lives in the forest there. Another country, hmm, you say. What country do you think that is? Lots of countries to pick from, right? Well, today we're going to visit a place where I have some friends that are from there. When I was teaching my fifth grade students, I had a bunch of friends from this country. It's Brazil. Brazil, what a colorful country, right? I loved my friends from Brazil. And I want to say hey to a bunch of them right now. Suri, hello, Suri. Rafaela, oh my word, Rafaela. These are my students that drew me pictures and I would teach them every day. Maria F, hey Maria. And Maria P, Maria P, hello Maria. And Lavinia, Lavinia was a, was a good friend of mine. She, she told me she once rode elephants and I always teased her about that, but I knew that she was telling me the truth. She took circus classes and she rode an elephant. <laughs> so, hello, Lavinia. I don't know if you're riding elephants right now or not, but I wanted to say hello. Very adventurous group of students from Brazil. And there's a bird that lives in the Amazon rainforest of Brazil. And that bird is the toucan. A toco toucan or a giant toucan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Toco or Tuco? Toco, it's T-O-C-O. -O. Toucan, all right? And they've got a big long bill. If you've ever eaten Fruit Loops, you see Toucan Sam on the front of the Fruit Loops. So that's kind of what we're gonna draw. And he's gonna be in a tree. So his body starts with, well, let's draw his big long beak. And that's basically, um, basically a rectangle really it's so long so let's draw two lines that are parallel to each other and this one kind of will hook down like this and make a little point and then come back like this like again here's our rectangle and then the bottom will open up his mouth just a little bit here's the corner of the mouth here's the bottom part and that will just go back toward the body. All right, now at the body, you could put us, we could put a circle here if we want that represents the head. The body though really is the shape of almost this, and we did it with the cardinal. It's like a half a circle, right? A half a circle like that. So we can use both the circle and the half a circle to complete our toucan. All right, so let's see. Head will go up like this. I'm not going to use the exact circle. I'm going to give them a head kind of shaped like that. They'll have a big eye. They have big eyes. Now this is probably bigger than the ones that they really have, but I'll put an oval shaped eye right there with a pupil that's looking at us. He's not really looking forward. All right. And then, of course, this big long bill with the different multicolors. Boy, yeah, when you go to color this one, it's gonna be really cool, isn't it? Lots of colors. All right, the body. Use that half circle shape, right? 
Look at that. Oh, we're going to put them in a tree. So let's, let's do this. Let's say the tree goes up like this and comes down like this. Just two lines, almost like a, looks like a road behind them or something, but it's a tree. And I didn't know this, but the toucans, they don't build their own homes in trees. They don't actually use this bill to peck at the bark and create a hole, but they do move into old holes that were created by woodpeckers. So there'd be a hole in a tree and it didn't belong to them. It's like the woodpeckers moved out and the toucan moved in. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's make a little hole here in the tree. Just a curved line. And then maybe we see the top of the hole if we're looking up. All right, sitting there, coming down. Boy, oh boy, Mr. Dave, would you clean that up? Decide where that whole tree and hole in the tree is going to be, would you? I doubt if it's perfectly round. Do you think a woodpecker could create a perfectly round tree? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, he's going to be gesturing with both wings. So one wing will be doing this. Straight line, straight line. Looks like a upside down letter T. And then curved line to make a wing. And there's one feather. Curved line, another feather. Curved line, another feather. Curved line, another feather. And then we'll just kind of go up, back up to where it started. So he's kind of folding that arm out of here. Maybe he's got... Let's do like kind of like an elbow macaroni and then curve line feather curve line feather curve line and then maybe some like that just doesn't have to be scientific but on this finger or feather do this he's going to be playing with a yo-yo <laughs> for some reason he's got a yo-yo up there right So a circle like that and maybe some a fun design on the yo-yo it's probably in motion right I don't know what kind of a design could we make on a yo-yo we'll figure that out with our pen all right let's see <laughs> up here maybe a little a fun spider I looked into this now they have scary spiders well Mr. Dave thinks any spider is scary <laughs> so that doesn't make a difference but there is kind of a fun spider in the Amazon rainforest. It's called a jumping spider. I don't think they really hurt people, but they do jump. So here's a jumping spider. Maybe he's jumping up and down on this, on the bill of the toucan. Make some fun legs, loopy legs. And some big fun eyes out of ovals. He's looking down. He's smiling because he's having so much fun, jumping up and down. Maybe he's coming back down to jump. Boing. Sound effect. Onomatopoeia. Boing. <laughs> hey, we got a lot of stuff done here, didn't we? Fun little toucan in a tree. Down below, we'll put the horizon line. This way in the back would be the Amazon rainforest way down below. All right, maybe some markings on the bark. Of course, we can fill that in later. All right, that looks pretty good for a start. Now, his tail, we didn't do his tail, but it's inside, inside there, so we wouldn't see the end of it. Must be crushed up against the back of the tree. Or if we wanted to, we could make the tree uh, wider, I suppose. I did end up with a little bit of extra paper on the side, so I can, I can make the tree a little wider so as not to constrain our toucan, right? All right, so there we go. Let's get inking our toucan. Starting with the bill. And this pen... 
little dry. Now we'll do some markings on that bill too if we want. can bill there we go the body all right that bill I so I think what they use the bill for if I'm not mistaken they use it to pick fruit and peel the fruit before they eat it I know I told you earlier I know they don't peck at trees to make holes. It's not that strong. Uh, they might use it to kind of defend themselves, I suppose, if they were attacked, right? But it also does something that I found very interesting, and that is it helps them with their body temperature. Yeah, it kind of acts like a radiator, or let's say their body temperature gets too warm. Well, they can make the heat from their body go into their bill and it kind of dissipates or disappears. So it kind of acts like a temperature regulator. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Did you know that before today? Wings and feathers. Fascinating. And again, we don't have these here in the United States. Of course, we have them at Zoos are very popular in a zoo, but we don't have them just living out in the forest here. Get a hole in the tree. Maybe and this would be the inside part of the hole. If you're looking up into the tree, right? Maybe I'll go up and do that while I'm over here. Jump back over here, let that ink dry a little bit. Do our fun little spider. Now I drew a circle, but maybe he's a fuzzy. I don't, I, I don't know if they're fuzzy, but let's, instead of just drawing the circle, make him a fuzzy jumping spider. <laughs> That'd be more fun, wouldn't it? Two big eyeballs. The pupils at the bottom. All right. Big smile. And just, just some fun legs. A jumping spider. Now, in real life, even though I know they wouldn't, they're not harmful to humans. I think if a if I got surprised by a jumping spider on me, I might scream. <laughs> it might kind of scare me. <laughs> what about you? If it surprises you, it could be anything. It could be a fake spider. Did you ever get? Pranked with a fake spider. Someone gets a rubber spider or a ball of fur and says it. Look out, spider! Yes. And it doesn't matter even if it's just a harmless ball of fur. It scares you. Catches you off guard. Motion lines, right? And then, let's see. I'm going to move the word boing over just a little bit because I know with this Sharpie, it's going to take this a little thicker than the pencil, obviously. So if I move it over, I won't run out of room. See that? Took us right up to the spider. Boing. All right, back over to our toucan. Let's do his little feathers on his head, kind of sticking out. Big eyeball. pupil with that little sparkle of 
reflection. Look at that. That looks cool. Maybe a little eyebrow. I don't know if they have eyebrows, but maybe ours does. <laughs> okay. The wing and his... ever-present yo-yo. Did you know toucans can yo-yo? <laughs> I didn't either until I drew it. <laughs> okay, so the string is on his hand. And then it comes down from the other side. And it comes down like this. And then basically, it's in motion. Let's do that. That's the inside of the yo-yo. Now it is spinning pretty fast, so we wouldn't really see what it says on the side, or if we had a, but why don't you come up? Well, let's do this. I'll just do like that. There's our design on our yo-yo. Or you could just use your colored pencils or crayons and color it however you wanted to, right? All right, okay, tree. Nice thick edge of the tree. Okay, over here, edge of the tree. I can even get thicker than that if I want. Go back to, ooh, go back to this big, thick. Look at that. Of course, that ink takes a little longer to dry, remember? So if I'm over here with my hand, I'm going to make a mess. <laughs> okay, and then the, kind of the shade, shading or the, Lines of the bark. And then way in the distance. Some scraggly lines, scraggly lines <laughs> to indicate that we're looking down on the Amazon forest, a rainforest. I guess we caught it on a lucky day. It's not raining. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's raining anyway. Maybe make some random tree tops, right? It's like a canopy, like a tent of trees. And I think when you're walking, I've never been there, but I would imagine if you're walking in the Amazon forest, it would be it wouldn't be very bright. I mean, where is the sun coming through, right? Just down and I don't know that it's dark dark, but it's probably not very bright. Okay, let's go ahead and start erasing here. Did I forget to do any? Maybe we can do some lines on the bill that'll tell us where to add different colors to our toucan, right? Toucan Sam, the Fruit Loops. He's the only toucan I really ever saw. I learned about toucans from a cereal box. Because <laughs> again, we didn't have them in our forests here. And if I knew about one, it would be from a zoo or a TV show growing up. It's not something I would have seen naturally, like the Cardinal. All right? Get the broom out. Our yo yo is pretty messy with our pencil here. Clean that up a little bit. Toko Toucan with a yo yo and a jumping spider. <laughs> so, where should we put these markings? Let's say. Let's see on the bill. Now, I did see a picture of one, and it looked like some of them had a little. And a weird spot up here went like this. 
and that was typically a dark mark, but it doesn't have to be again. You can, and then there could be stripes like the Toucan Sam one from the cereal, but we could do wavy lines. Nothing that says we can't do something like this, right? There, and that way you can draw or color those each, each of those sections in a different color that really pop out real nice. Living in the tree that the woodpecker made. <laughs> Interesting bird, wouldn't you say? How did yours come out? Right? I bet I'm excited. I'll bet it came out really nice. So we learned about a couple different animals from the Amazon rainforest. The jumping spider and the toucan, the giant toucan. That's awesome. I hope my Brazilian friends had a lot of fun drawing that today. Um, so until next time, my friends, have a great day. Stay well, be safe, and take care of one another. All right, bye-bye.